Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you. We bless you. Just lift your hand. In one minute, just ask the Lord to speak to you tonight. Amen. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We thank you for today. We thank you, Lord, that we can come to your feet, at your feet, and hear your word. Lord, we ask you to prepare our hearts in the name of Jesus. Lord, prepare our hearts. May our hearts produce a hundredfold in the name of Jesus. Lord, make the soil of our hearts fertile that we may receive your word in the name of Jesus. That we may receive your word in the name of Jesus. That your word will be planted in our hearts in the name of Jesus. That your word will change our lives. That your word will change our mindset in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Oh, Jesus, you are worthy. Oh, precious Savior, you are worthy. We give you the praise. 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 We bless your name. We bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Receive all the praise. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor. Receive all the adoration. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, before I start, I would like to invite my very, very good friend. Divine. Divine. Please, let's clap for Divine. She has a poem. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. It's been a while, but I'm glad that I'm back ministering for God. Uh, before I begin, I just want to say, this is a poem. I had to say a while ago. I had to say it a while ago. But then the Lord has his own timing and Surprisingly, he led Pastor to to lead me to say it now. And this title is entitled, this poem is entitled, God's Word. So let's dive into the meanings and we get to know them. Imagine this insight. There's a sun that shines so bright. There's a child that's flying a kite. And a car that's moving towards the red light. And then at that stop, you gaze to the side and you see a shop. But next to that shop, there is a crop which has been scorched by the sun and prays for rain to drop. God's word, it is like the rain. It never turns back to him void, but comes to give us life it can sustain. God's word, when you speak it and you are tempted, it drives the devil insane. And it is our earthly and heavenly domain. Heaven, us, it will all pass away, but God's word will always stay. It is the answer to those who ask in darkness, they tend to say, what is the light, what is the truth, and where is the way? I tell them, 
God's word is the light unto my path and the lamp unto my feet. God's word is the only truth that can drive away deceit. God's word, it is the only sword that I can use to fight against the enemy and I will never find defeat. God's word is the way in which I find myself complete. See, man was not built to live on bread alone, but by every word that comes out of God's mouth. And if there is anything we can't live without, it's having faith, trust in everything that the Spirit speaks out, and planting it in our hearts and let it spring out. The Word of God is like Jesus. For in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word came to become God, and the Word died for us. And the word, whosoever believes in it shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So when the word of God tells you, I forgive you and forgive, believe it. When the word of God tells you, I love you, believe it. When the word of God tells you, you are chosen, believe it. And when the word of God tells you, see not, don't. For he who has ears, hear. The word is for every man. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Please clap for her once again. Amen. Can we celebrate the Lord for his word? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I'd like to thank my pastors for this opportunity. What is happening? Oh, I used to. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like to thank my pastors for this opportunity. It is a privilege to serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank Pastor Robert Kasozi in absentia. And Mama Robina Kasozi. Praise the Lord. All, all our senior pastors, Pastor Taka and the wife. Amen. Pastor Mama Wanaswa and their dear husband. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Also, we would like to acknowledge our administrator. Amen. He's the one who administrates everything. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And last but not least, I would like to thank my lovely wife. Amen. Amen. When, uh, doctor, let me tell you. Yes, sir. When you look at the top 10 most beautiful. Amen. She, she's number one. Yours may be two, I don't know. But <laughs> Translate what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Mine might be number two, but his. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. But that's just a joke. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's good to be married. How many married people are in the house? Uh -uh, that is not convincing. I thought you would shout. Or is, are you struggling in the marriage? <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's marriage is a good thing. There is this gospel which goes everywhere. They say marriage is hard. <laughs> that is a lie. Praise the Lord. Uh, don't give us a sermon on your experience. Marriage is a good thing. Granted, there are challenges, but the challenges even make it more beautiful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just provoking the singles, you know, to desire this thing quickly. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, my wife is my best friend. Amen. 
My best friend. If you thought you were my best friend, I cheated you. He's my wife. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I, I, we dated before we got married for eight years. Seven years was long distance. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when she came back, I waited another one year. Amen. But one of the reasons I say she's my best friend is because when we started to date, I was in the slums of Nairobi. I never had anything. But she was studying in Korea. She had other men also who were studying in the same university. Probably handsome than me, though I doubt that. I, I know myself. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but granted, they were they were studying. I was not studying. They were well off. I was not. But this lady loved me with nothing. She has seen me with nothing. There's a time she got a chance to come to Nairobi uh, for she that's the only time we go to see each other. But when she came and entered the ghetto where I was, she said, You you need to trust God to live here. And the friends were telling her, why, why are you going to a poor man? <laughs> Leave this guy alone. But what God joins together, no man can put asunder. And it is because of my wife, by the grace of God, that I'm serving God in Uganda. She's my divine help. If I never met her, you'll never have seen this handsome face hid here. <laughs> that is the truth. Praise the Lord. Through her, we got married in Kawempe Worship Center. And now, I mean, I wanted to join Robert Kayanja's church, but somehow, when we came here to thank the Lord for allowing us and to thank the brethren for allowing us to use this venue. During worship, God said, this is your church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says women or our wives are our helpmates. Well, we are talking on character, not wife. Amen. <laughs> but marriage is a good thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what makes it exciting is the little things. So today I'm about to leave the house and I leave my socks and my vest, everything. I organize them very well and I put them on the bed. After shower, I just come and enter, but I found my sock misplaced. And I asked a babe, where are my socks, the particular ones? I want to wear these ones. <laughs> and the socks nearly make us made us to have an altercation together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I just laughed and said, Wow. If you are immature, you cannot handle marriage. Praise the Lord. Again, we are talking about character, not wives. 
First Samuel chapter 13 verse 14. Samuel chapter 13 verse 14. But the one whom you love, you'll always talk about. Again, we are talking about character, not wives. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, First Samuel chapter 13 verse 14. In the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy. First Samuel chapter 13 verse 14. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. Meaning you are fired. Yeah, God was just trying to be polite. <laughs> but the real thing was, you are fired. Go back home. Your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought him a man after his own heart. Meaning you are fired and your replacement has already been found. Everybody say character. Okay, the Lord has sought him a man after his own heart. And the Lord has commanded him to be captain over his people. Because thou has not kept that which the Lord commanded thee. And again, you are being told why you are fired. You know, the other companies, they fire you, but they don't tell you that uh, this is the reason. But God is merciful. He fires you and tells you why. Your, your kingdom will not continue. You are fired. And this is the reason. So that you don't go home meditating. Why did he fire me? Praise the Lord. But the Bible says the Lord has sought him a man after his own heart. God is the king of kings. He is the lord of lords. In fact, the Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was without form or void and darkness has covered the face of the deep and the spirit of the Lord was hovering over the waters and the Lord said God began to create the whole world Hebrews 11 verse 3 says by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God just the other day the psalmist said in Psalms chapter 24 the earth is the Lord's and all its fullness and they that dwell therein. God is the landlord. He is the owner of the heavens and the earth. What will make God seek for something? That thing has to be very valuable. If the king of kings the lord of lords the great I am creator of the heavens creator of the earth creator of the seas if he can seek for something that thing must be very valuable very valuable I know three instances in the bible where the lord has sought for something he has looked for something. Number one, John chapter 4 verse 23. The Lord seeketh for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. Meaning those who worship him in spirit and in truth are a rare commodity.
commodity. His eyes have to run to and fro to look for them. Meaning worshipping God in spirit and in truth is very important. When you are a worshipper, you attract God's attention. Number two, he seeks for those who will stand in the gap. He says, I sought for a man who could stand in the gap so that I will heal the land, so that I will come through for the people. I sought for a man. He looked to and fro. The Lord seeking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Meaning an intercessor is very important in God's eyes. So we looked at a worshipper, an intercessor, and the third place where God is seeking is a man after his own heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A man after his own heart. When God finds this kind of man, mm, he can do with him anything. He can trust him with any assignment. He can trust him with kingdom business. A man after God's heart. I did a research on the word seek or sought. Number one, it means to desire, demand, meaning God is not comfortable. He is desperately desiring a man after his own heart. It means to strive after. Desperately looking for. He cannot settle until he finds a man after his own heart. If you are a man after God's heart, you are an object of God's attention. God is looking for you and he will find you. When God wants to assign somebody a duty, the qualification is simple. It is not master's is not a PhD. The qualification a man after my own heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we are talking about character, you can't miss to talk about the heart. Because character is who you are from the inside. Character is your inside man. Your inner man. That is what defines your character. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we together? Are we together? Amen. Can I get three uh, men? Praise the others. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you clap for them for coming? Praise the Lord. Amen. So we are talking about the heart. Character. Amen. amen. Do we arrange you in ascending order or descending? If you have worn high heels, you, are, you have advantage. Come in the middle. Is it true? Because it's shifting, it's shifting. Praise the Lord. 
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We are talking about the heart of man. You can't talk about character without mentioning the heart of man. Now, man is tripartite in nature. Aha, triune. Praise the Lord. Man is a spirit. He possesses a soul and he lives in a body. Praise the Lord. So if this is Mr. Opio, this is Opio the body, Opio the soul, Opio the spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. First Thessalonians 5 verse 23. Sorry, our computer has a virus, so if you didn't come with your Bible, Next time you'll see why it's important. First Thessalonians 5 verse 23. The Bible says, Paul talking to the church at Thessalonica. Are we all there? We are not there. Are we all there? First Thessalonians 5 verse 23. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, so I showed you that scripture to show you that man is tripartite. I pray God your Holy Spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now watch this. The Bible says when a man dies or when you die this is what happens according to Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 3 I believe that the body goes back to the ground. Amen. And the spirit goes back to God. God because it is the property of God but the body came from dust it goes back to dust but the soul Ezekiel uh, Ecclesiastes never accounted for it where does the soul go? Ezekiel said, the soul that sinneth shall die. So what is the soul? This is the heart of man. This is where your mind is. This is where your will is. This is where your emotions are. The person who defines your character is the soul. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not your body. Man looks at the outward appearance. Oh, John, you look so nice, man. You, you dress very well. But God looks at the heart. Because you are not your body. This is a covering. This is just a, 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 a what can I call it? It is a, a, a housing. Praise the Lord, Pastor. You, you are in the spirit. <laughs> Amen. It's just a housing. But this is the real you. This is the spirit of God. Amen. So, 
the spirit can will tell your soul don't slap him but if your soul is not submitted to your spirit because this is where choices are made you will give a signal to the body slap him then the body will do what your soul has said. If the spirit signals to your soul, it's time for prayer. Let's go to church. And you are a man led by the spirit. Your soul will say yes. And your body will begin to take a shower, do everything necessary to get to church. So this man here is the decision maker. This one is the executioner of his decisions. Praise the Lord. Now you need to differentiate between the body and the sinful nature, the flesh. This is not the this is not the sinful nature. This is the body. But as the spirit tells you what to do which is godly, the sinful nature will also tell you what to do which is evil. But you, as if you are submitted to the dictates of the sinful nature, whatever you decide, that is what will happen. Praise the Lord. So the body is the executioner. The body just does as it has been commanded. This is the man who will face God in judgment. Your soul or your heart. So when God was looking, he looked for a man who is after his own heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So if you are talking about character, we are talking about working on this gentleman. Praise the Lord. Working on this gentleman. Working on this man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Have I confused you? So when you die, this one goes back to the ground because it came from the ground. This one goes back to God. He is the father of all spirits. This is his property. He is the one who tells you whether what, what you're doing is wrong. He tells you every good thing. You say something told me not to do it. Some, that something is the spirit of God. The real you is this one. Your mind is here. Your will is here. Emotions are here. Whatever this one decides, this one will execute. If, if he decides to jump, he will jump. If pastor says, I want a special offering, and this one says, ah, they are always asking for special offering. Don't these people get tired? This one will not enter his pocket. Praise the Lord. But if pastor says it's time to give and this man here jumps and says, wow, hallelujah. Signal, this one will enter the pocket and give. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when you are talking about character, this is the man 
who needs to be developed. This is the man who God is seeking for. He does not look at the outward appearance. Amen. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter 16 verse 7. First Samuel chapter 16 verse 7. The Bible says, But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the hate of his stature because I have refused him. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Meaning for Samuel, when he was told to go and anoint a king, this is a whole prophet, but he is human. Instead of inquiring of the Lord, who knows the hearts of men, he went and began to look at the stature. Does he have a big chest like a wardrobe? Is he tall? Is he handsome? Then this must be the one who God wants to be the next king. But God said, Samuel, look not on his countenance or the hate of his stature because I have refused him. He looks very good on the outside. But he does not have the capacity to handle the kingdom. His heart is not straight. I have refused him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. God does not see as man sees. For you, you can appoint somebody. Maybe let me say it is me, I'm the pastor. I can appoint you in a certain ministry because Probably I see you every day coming early. When it is worship time, your hands are lifted. Even if you are short, it is above everybody else. You speak in tongues like a machine gun. As a pastor, I'll say this one. Let them lead this department. But God does not see as man sees. When man looks at the outward appearance, God told Samuel, I look at the heart. This is where character is built. This is what attracts God. It's not your makeup. It's not your make down. It's not your roll on. It's not your roll out. What attracts God is not your Brazilian hair. What attracts God is the status of your heart. This is what gives you kingdom assignment. This is what causes God to entrust you with any responsibility. So he said, Samuel, my prophet, open your eyes. You are a prophet. Your eyes should be open. I, the Lord, does not see as man sees. You look at the outward appearance, but I look at the heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. You may be serving God faithfully. You love the Lord. Your heart is right with God. Nobody knows you. But God will pick you out. Have you ever been in a situation where you see somebody is very committed in church. They are always there. Everything but it's like the pastor is not seeing them. Things are not happening. You wonder, ah, what is 
it is like this sister has been bewitched. It's not every time that it is witchcraft. Some people are good on the outward appearance. But when they go back home, gossipers, mamaras, complainers. But when they come before the public, oh, they even roll down. They shake. Nothing wrong with those who roll down and shake. I'm just telling you how people can fake it. You'll be wrong to judge by outward appearance. What God is looking for is your heart. Your heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 26. Proverbs 23 verse 26. Proverbs 23 verse 26. Are you there? It says, Has the computer resurrected? Computer is wicked. Proverbs 23 verse 26. My son, give me your heart, not your body. Give me your heart. This one, God is asking for it. If God will ask for your heart, it could mean three things. Number one, he does not have it. Number two, he needs it. Number three, it is your own will and decision to say yes or no. He cannot force you. That's why he said, my son, give me your heart. I need it. I don't have it. It is your own will, your decision. This is where the choices are made. Lord, I give you my heart. The decision came from this man. Then the body, you will see the fruits of it. Coming to serve the Lord, loving the brethren, praying, worshipping, giving offerings, visiting the sick, it shows that he has given his heart. My son, give me your heart. We are talking about character. This is the man God wants. This is who we need to work on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we together? Are you understanding? Amen. Amen. I may be here laboring alone. Proverbs chapter 4. Oh, okay, Proverbs that was 23-26. Let us look at Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9. Verse 9 to 10. We are fasting, eh? I'll buy you sweet peps, everyone. After we break the fast. Jeremiah 17 verse 9 to 10. The Bible says. The heart is deceitful. Above all things. Meaning if you are ranking. From number one. The things which are deceitful. God gave the heart number one. You cannot beat the heart. If God says above all things, it is above all things. This man, deceitful, above all things. The meaning of the word deceit is that the heart can 
make you think you are walking in truth yet you are walking in a lie this man can make you think that you are walking in God yet you left God a long time ago deceitful above all things and desperately wicked <laughs> desperately wicked I Ruganda gives it a heavy Let me stick to English. Jeremiah 17 Can you read Jeremiah 17 verse 9? Omutima mulimba okusenge ebintu byonna. Era gulwadde endwadde etewonyezeka. Anyaiza okugumanya. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Desperately wicked. If God says something is desperately wicked, then it is desperately wicked. The heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The heart. Amen. That's why every day, at least for me, if there is a prayer, I pray. Lord, deal with my heart. I want to be like you. Remove jealousy. Remove pride. Remove bitterness. Deal with my heart. I can take two hours on that one. Because as you think you are okay, desperately wicked. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Desperately wicked. It is deceitful. Maybe you're not understanding. Let me give you a scenario in the New Testament of somebody who thought that his heart was okay. Then Jesus, who looks at the inward parts of the heart, found him out. Luke chapter 18, from verse 18 to 30. So if you are talking about character, godly character, you need to work on your heart daily. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 18. Luke chapter 18. Are we there? Okay. Luke chapter 18 from verse 18. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Verse 19. And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good save one that is God. Verse 20. Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. And he said, All this have I kept from my youth up. What a challenge to Jesus. All this I have kept. Not when I was a 13 year old. From my youth up. I have kept all your commandments. In fact, add me more. I have kept all. Ah, Jesus was wow. Ah, ah. This is a special character. All the commandments he has kept. 
For me, I will make him a pope. Or archbishop. Right reverend. Somebody who keeps all the commandments. His name is above Abraham's name in the book of life. This man, when he appears in heaven, it is you are selling, you, you enter with limousine. I mean, you kept all the commandments. I, I can't imagine how many I break. But I won't tell you. But for this young man, rich young man, he told Jesus boldly. In fact, I like another version. It says, he came running to Jesus. Good teacher, what can I do to inherit eternal life? Praise the Lord. That means he came running because he was bold. Every day I obey the commandments. Then when Jesus mentioned all the commandments, he says, do not commit adultery. Ah, that one I have done. Next, do not steal. Ah, that one done perfectly. Next, do not, co do not covet your... Ah, that one done. Jesus, give me another one. There are six. Then Jesus, <laughs> who looks at the inward parts of the heart, he zoomed into his heart. And he said, hmm, go sell everything and come and follow me. Ah! <laughs> the Bible says, the one who came running to Jesus, he, he went back sorrowful and you cannot run sorrowfully. You, 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 you walk sorrowfully. The heart is deceitful. It cheated him that he will make heaven. Just because he obeyed all commandments, the heart cheated him. He's okay with God. But God who looks at the inward parts of the heart, he zoomed into his heart and said, ah, money is your God. Sell everything. Ah, he walked away sorrowful. Do you know what that means? The heart was not with God. But because he obeyed the commandments, he knew that he is with God. Praise the Lord. Every day, examine yourself. In fact, the Bible says, examine yourselves whether you are still in the faith. It needs examination. Because the deceit of the heart can make you think you are still in the faith but you stepped out. So how do you make sure you are still in God? Examine yourself every day. Praise the Lord. Let, us, let me read for you that scripture. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, I believe. Second. Then we close. I want from today, make it your daily prayer. Lord, I give you my heart. My heart belongs to you. I, are you getting what I'm saying? God is interested in our hearts. New Testament, that is a... Uh, uh, did I say Second Corinthians? Yes. Chapter. Okay, Second Corinthians. Sorry. Second Corinthians, chapter thirteen, verse five. Second Corinthians thirteen, verse five. I'll read for you from the King James and then from the Message Bible. It says, 
Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves how that Jesus Christ is in you except ye be reprobates. Now let me read for you from the message which breaks it down because King James I mean, they brag with their English. They, they are not easy people. Thou goest when test comes. Ah, ah. We are fasting. We are breaking all more. Don't break us with English. Amen? Amen. So, let me spare you. Let me read for you from the message Bible. Praise the Lord. It says, Wonderful. If you want to be a Bible scholar, you can't rely on one version. You'll miss a lot of meat in the word. This has been my word for the week. It says, test yourselves to make sure you are solid in the faith. Don't drift along. Don't. Can you uh, translate as I say it, okay? Don't drift along taking everything for granted. Taking everything for granted is I come to church every day, I fast, I tithe, you know, I serve the Lord. You, you know, you think you are with God. He said, examine yourself. Test yourself. Don't take anything for granted. Give yourself regular checkups. Did you hear that? Give yourself regular checkups. Doctor, when I come to you, I say, Doctor, it's the end of the month. Use your technology. Do regular, do a checkup on my body. Praise the Lord. The reason you do checkup is because maybe something is starting or something is beginning to grow which may kill me. So the importance of checkup you detect early. You may go there and the doctor may say, hey, my friend, your knee is separating into two. It is beginning. <laughs> you need to do this, this, and this. Do regular checkups of your heart. You may find out there is jealousy somewhere inside. There is bitterness somewhere inside. The way it entered the heart, you cannot know. You may find the love of money has started to grow in your heart. The Bible in Uganda says it is very sick beyond healing. That is a heart which was not done for regular checkups. Do you know, as, as a small sin, you can despise something small can begin in your life. After some time, it will be difficult to remove it. The Bible says, while men slept, the enemy Praise the Lord. He came and sowed tears while they slept. 
Certain times you are not in prayer. You are not serious with your salvation. In such times, the devil comes and plants a seed in your heart. You may not be aware until one day when you have a big position like soul. Then the thing pops up. People say, ah, ah, is this Musumba so and so? The one we know. What happened to him? Lack of regular checkups. Because the heart has deceived you that you're very okay. I beseech you every day do regular checkups. Even if you feel you're okay, you get a corner. Say, God, help me. Help me, O oh God. Remove everything that is not of you. Every planting of the devil, every seed of the devil, Lord, remove it. I lay my heart before you. Do a surgery in my heart. Remove everything that does not please you, oh God. My God, help me. You look at the inward parts of the heart. Expose every sin. Every hidden seed of the devil. Lord, expose. Remove them from my life. I want to be more like you. I want to be Christ-like. I want to look like you, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Lord, I give you my heart. I belong to you. I am your child. Help me, oh God. Anything in my life which does not resemble you, which causes you to cry, which causes you to grieve, Lord, remove it. Lord, remove it. It's better than shouting or praying for any other thing. Praise the Lord. Help me, O oh God. In this season, God is looking for those who are after his own heart. Amen. You can only be a man after God's heart if your heart is after God. You can only be a man after God's heart if your heart is after God. Number two, the quality of your worship is, is based on the state of your heart. The quality of your worship. What makes worship acceptable is the status of the heart. The power of your prayer is not how long you pray, but the state of your heart in prayer. The power of the prayer is not in the duration. Though duration is important, the power of the prayer is based on the status of the heart. Praise the Lord. When your heart is right before God, you command heaven's attention. You don't shout. You don't cry. <laughs> Just the status of the heart. Before you even pray. Because the Lord loves you. He already answers. Can we challenge ourselves to work on this man? Amen. How can you be a believer and you hate one another? 
and we gossip each other. It shows you how the heart is desperately wicked. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Acts chapter 6 verse 3. Acts chapter 6 verse 3. I want you to see something. Hey, if you didn't come with your Bible and notebook, uh, in Swahili we say Olewako. Amen. Acts chapter 6 verse 3. Is it really 6 verse 3? Okay, let's look at Acts chapter 1 verse 23, verse to 24. Acts chapter 1 verse 23 to 24. Okay. Um, maybe I'll start it from let's start from verse 15. Okay. Verse 15. And in those days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said the number of names together were about 120. Men and brethren this scripture must needs have been fulfilled which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas which was guide to them that took Jesus for he was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity and falling headlong he burst asunder in the mist and all his bowels gushed out verse 19 and it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem in so much as that field is called in their proper tongue Akeldama that is to say the field of blood okay this is where the thing is for it is written in the book of Psalms let his habitation be desolate and let no man dwell therein and his bishop Rick, let another take. You remember what happened to Saul? He was fired from the kingdom. And his replacement was there. Now same as Judas. Because of what he did, he loses his bishopric. Praise the Lord, his position. And now they want to appoint another person. Are you getting the story? Verse 21. Wherefore, of these men which have companied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us beginning from the baptism of John unto that same day that he was taken up from us must one of them be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection meaning they want to replace Judas and so they say we want somebody who has been with us from the days of John who has followed committedly up to when Jesus resurrected. 
Bano nya omuntu abadde nabo okuva mu nnaku za Yokana na gobera nga yewaddeyo paka ku lunaku Yesu lwe yazuki They were looking for commitment Abano nya omuntu yewaddeyo People who have been with us Abantu abawadde nafe And two names came up Alama nya abiri ne gajja Amen Verse 23. And they appointed two. Joseph called Basabas. Who was son named Justus. And Matthias. Or if you like it, Matthias. Verse 24. And they prayed. And said. Now listen to this prayer. Thou Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, show whether of these two thou hast chosen. Meaning it was not about the ones who have been following committedly. No, it was about the one who was following, but the heart was sold out to God. Meaning one of them looked very committed but the heart was far away. So say God you who looks at the inward parts show us among these two who is that one who has followed not only Committedly, but from the heart, his heart is sold out for the kingdom. Show us among these two who can take this position. That was a very precious position, my friend. It even says in heaven there are 12 thrones. It was a very precious position. Whoever was to sit there, the qualification was the status of the heart. And so now let's see how God answers them. Verse 26. And they gave forth their lots. And the lot fell upon Matthias. And he was numbered with the 11 apostles. Meaning this other guy with a funny name, Joseph called Bar. Barsabas who was surnamed Justus he was there with them but the heart was far away but when they made a prayer the Lord who looks at the inward parts of the heart qualified Matthias because of the status of his heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In these last days, God is about to lift believers in mountains of influence. God is about to lift the church to places of influence places of authority not in the church only but in the kingdom mountain of finance mountain of governance sports media God is about to lift men of God who are going to exemplify his heart but if your heart is not after God's heart good news you do not qualify praise the Lord bad news you will never qualify the qualification your heart 
praise the Lord. I can give you countless stories in the Bible where if God was replacing somebody and putting the other in a place of authority, he looked at the heart. What qualified Joseph as a prime minister? The heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we all stand on our feet? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know who the Lord has spoken to. Please, you may have your seat. Please clap for them. Amen. Lift your hands up. Prayer point number one. We are about to close. Proverbs 23 verse 26. My son, give me your heart. Say, Lord, I give you my heart. Begin to pray. Lord, I give you my heart. Jesus, I give you my heart. My heart belongs to you. My heart does not belong to money. My heart does not belong to idols. My heart does not belong to my job. My heart does not belong to my business. My heart belongs to you. I belong to you. My body is your temple. I have been bought at a price. I've been bought by the blood of Jesus. Lord, I give you my heart. 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 Lord, I, you my heart. I surrender my heart to you. Is somebody praying? Is somebody praying? Lord, I surrender my heart to you. 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 Be Lord over my heart. 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 Establish your throne in my heart. Establish your throne in my heart. Lord, I give my heart away. I give my heart away. My heart belongs to you. I belong to you, Jesus. I belong to you, Jesus. Somebody pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. Let it come from your heart. I belong to you. I belong to you. I surrender to you. I surrender my life to you. I surrender my life to you. I surrender my life to you. Life to you. In the name of Jesus. Prayer point number two. Whatever my father never planted shall be uprooted. Begin to pray. Lord, uproot every planting of the devil in my heart. Lord, uproot every planting of the devil, every planting of jealousy, every planting of bitterness, every planting of malice, every planting of murmuring, every planting of doubt, every planting of the love of money, every planting of immorality, every planting of the devil, Lord, uproot, 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 oh God, uproot them from their roots, I want to be more like you, I want to be more like you, my God, my God, you examine the heart, you look at the inward parts of the heart, Lord, examine my heart, look at the inward parts of my heart, oh God, whatever does not please you, Lord, uproot, whatever does not please you, Lord, uproot, whatever does not please you, Lord, uproot, somebody pray, 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 Lord, uproot, uproot, uproot pride, uproot pride, uproot pride, uproot pride, uproot self-righteousness, uproot, oh God, uproot, oh God, uproot lying, uproot lying, uproot jealousy, uproot envy, uproot covetousness, uproot greed, uproot grumbling, uproot murmuring, uproot gossip, Lord, uproot, 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 uproot from 
their roots, uproot from their roots every seed of the devil. Let it be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Begin to pray. Every seed the devil planted in your heart. The Bible says while men slept, the devil came, the enemy came and planted tears, planted tears among the wheat while you are not praying while you are not watching while you are not fasting while you are walking in sin the devil came and planted seeds in your heart begin to pray may the blood of Jesus flush out every seed every seed of immorality every seed of fornication every seed of pride every seed of stealing every seed the devil planted let the blood of Jesus flush it out let the blood the blood the blood of Jesus flush out every negative seed every negative seed every negative seed every negative seed pray 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 come on pray 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 every negative seed let the blood the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, let it flush out every negative seed, every negative seed, every negative seed, let it be flushed out. Begin to pray, Lord. I want to be more like you, I want to be more like you, I want to be more like you, I want to be more like you. Like you. Somebody pray from your heart. I want to be more like you. Nataka kufanana na wewe. I want to be more like you. I want to be more like you. Oh Jesus. I want to be more like you. Oh Jesus. I want to be more like you. Oh Jesus. Mold my heart. Oh Jesus. I want to be more like you. I want to be Christ like oh Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus help me oh God 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 I want to be more like you 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 Right away, begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. Oh Jesus, we worship you. We worship you. Yahweh. Oh Yahweh. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Somebody love him. Somebody worship 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 him. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Worship him. Worship him. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's the lover of our soul. 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 We give you the praise. We give you the praise. We we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Oh, Yeshua. Oh, Yeshua. Receive all the praise. 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 Oh, Jesus. Jesus, receive all the praise. Receive all the praise. Receive all the praise. Receive all the praise. We worship you, Jesus. Lamb of God, seated on the throne. We give you the praise. We bless you, O God. You are the lover of our soul. You are our salvation. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. You are so wonderful. You are so wonderful. You are so beautiful. Oh, Jesus. You are so amazing. You are so amazing. You are so amazing. We love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Somebody tell him that you love him. Tell him that you love him. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, my Savior. My heart belongs to you. I belong to you. I belong to you. Oh, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. 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 We love you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, do regular checkups. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor again, do regular checkups. Amen. Wow, thank you so much, Pastor Colin McLeagueo. How many people say you've been blessed? Can you appreciate the Lord for the message? So powerful message. Amen. We thank God so much for such a powerful word. As now you, you know this, the, the body, soul, and the spirit. Now you know where to concentrate a lot. The soul and the heart. Come and clap your hand to Jesus. This is so powerful. This is so powerful. Regular checkups. Every day. And they said, instead of coming here to cry a lot, begin to tell God, work on my heart. Work on my soul. Hallelujah. This has been a blessing. You know, this week has been a blessing to this church. This is what we need as a church. It's not just to be made excited, but it's to teach us and take us back to the foundation of the word. Thank you so much, Mosaic, uh, Pastor Colin. <laughs> You're my brother. You know, I'm used to my Mosaic. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God so much. Tomorrow, we are coming here. It's going to be, it's not half night, but it's going to be quarter night. From, from, from 5 to 10. Because it's not going to be an overnight. It's going to be a, a quarter night. But you to make sure you come. Don't excuse yourself to stay in your house. Let's come here tomorrow. We're going to have enough time to pray. We have had enough word for about character. So tomorrow we are going to pray and put it in, you know, we, we're going to put it before God in, in prayer. Hallelujah. Then on Sunday, 
That's when our prayer and fasting is ending. And maybe the Lord will talk to you individually to continue. But for us, we requested you, we heard from God uh, 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 asking us to pray for seven days. So if you have been participating in this fast, God bless you. You know, the issue is about the heart. The issues about the heart. They gave us the illustration here. The spirit is saying, I'm willing to fast. And the body said, No, 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 no. I have ulcers. I can't make it. I'm diabetic. Pray the Lord. But so on Sunday, we're going to have a recap on, on, on everything that we have been sharing here. And, and we shall pray. And then we shall anoint and pray for the sick. And whoever will, become, will come here needs prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you. This week has been really, thank you for turning up. It, it, has, been, it has been a fair turn up for you. Amen. That means the, the, it's, it's revival. For sure there is revival in this church. There's no, there's no way there's no way you can say revival is uh, Uganda is taking revival when we can't see revival in our own church. So when you people get revived, then even your houses, your families are going to be revived in Jesus' name. So I pray in the name of Jesus, Father King of Glory, before we give in this house. Whoever is sick, whoever has come and is weak, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, if my people that are called after my name shall turn away from their evil ways and repent their sins and pray before me, shall I best in heaven, I will forgive them and heal their land. Father King of Glory, every bad character, every bad habit of oh God, it is the beginning of death. Father, I pray King of Glory, may you forgive us. Forgive us of being, or having had, you know, heavy hearts, oh God. Forgive us for not being prayerful. Forgive us for not forgiving others. Father, Lord, King of Glory, whoever has come today and they have a situation, they have issues in their lives. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, forgive forgive them oh God and let there be healing let there be healing in their spirits in their souls in their bodies in the name of Jesus Christ Father I pray King of Glory where sin is that's where death is but I pray in the name of Jesus as you forgive us as a church healing is going to come healing will happen oh God none of us will die none of them will die King of Glory because character has changed there has been a transformation Father I pray in the name of Jesus stretch your hand and heal Kawempe Worship Center help the young people God save the young people the young girls, oh God, the young boys, oh God, save everybody, save your ministers, save the pastors, oh God, save the prophets, oh God, in our midst, King of Glory, Father King of Glory, we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Say amen. Hallelujah. Now, it's time to give. Give me that basket, young man. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, you don't need to uh, get tired, you know, t telling you to give in the house of God. Amen. Come and give. Character, come and give. Just come and give. Where I'm standing is the church. May the Lord construct you a house now long ago. A solid one. Come a college be amani. Come a some message abana. I will call it a bintu ebi kulu. Muli nyali amukama of Jesus. Tunda ba wo mukisa. In the mighty name of Jesus. Christ the Son of the Living God. Amen. Tomorrow is going to be so powerful. Come, we're going to pray together. Amen. I bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So tomorrow is going to be so, so wonderful. Happy birthday, belated. 
May you live longer and see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mugende mula wewe bulunji wa katona. Abatana ba kufuna kusende za chama gero. Kadonda zikuwe. Bazikuli etere. Bazikuli etere. Obo zironda. Obo zijazitia. Tezige na kubanzibe. Na yezi genda kuja. Molinyari ya yesu. Katonda kusanyu se. Weekend uyo na. Katonda kuwe ya kama. Bakuweleze yu ka message. Nga baka ita ka message. Nga kare ita ka mwenyu mwenyu kubula. Mkula angiri ya kebiru nji. Business ye kule. Esomelo yu likule. Eduka likula akulane. Bakuwe promotion. Bakuwe le simu. Ndijangomu li mugu. Guago Sobola Bakukuze nyu 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 Mulinyeri ya Yesu Nabe wa mwe Abako Sula Bagenda kuwa nilizabuto Bagenda kuwe toonda Mulinyeri ya Yesu Mkwambazo kuganja Yamba lo kuganja Yamba lo kuganja Mulinyeri ya Yesu Waniko mkono kwa mbangu Sabiru msumba of Robert Kasozi Ne Robina Kasozi Aba tukule embera Katonda aba guli renzichi Katonda akolevi ntuwevi nene Omudwe gubo guomo kesa Echisigade chiba chama kisa chitange Sabiru msumba of Robert Kasozi Ne mchala Kasozi Mba sabi demoli nyalia yesu Omuwa kaguno Okoleye chintu Echibalaga Baba debe sigwa Mumasogo Bakuweleza Baba decha kula bilako Bakule liya echintu Bawe ya kasimo Nga baka ita kasimo Mukama bawe ya kasimo Musumba robati kasozi Sumba robina kasozi Ninyumba ya mwe Nevi baku atako Mukama abichuse Mukama abichuse Nevi no uweleza Katunda kule vikulu Pastor of Robert Kasozi Tukusavira favor where you are Tukusavira ukuganja Tukusavira mafuta Keno nye nyama wanga Tandi kila kubulaya Tandi kila kuwa baba Amerikabu Mulinyari ya Yesu Kristo Omwana katono mlamu Come on somebody say amen Sachamu kama for Yesu Kristo Okwagala kuwa katonda Okusekimo kwa mamutu kufu Vena fefe na Na waluganda wana Emele mbeji taguwao Amina Kuhira kenji omu ndwe simu limu Njaka tuwele banji Echi ndu chivu gume Bako goya niriza Bako go senda senda Encha Muhulite Banai muhulite Mubeko kwe umu senda senda jencha Kama ba umu kisa 